Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here, 18th of April. UK uh, employment numbers today are mildly interesting this morning, but the most interesting chart is Aussie Yen. Um, we talked about this last week. 90.15, triple top. This is very much like the 134.05. This is very much like um, the equities chart we put up yesterday. Let's go four hourly. This is similar to 42.11 um, in the equities chart. And we just popped up through a pretty clean break last night. Nobody has this. Everyone's short Aussie, uh, and maybe for for good reason with rates higher. But there's two sides to this trade. There's dollar yen, and there's Aussie. Aussie uh, kicked in the balls. Can you know just consolidate and float a little bit higher? Dollar yen can easily go up to one thirty five before it has to answer some questions. Um, so. Long, long as a yen uh, is the trade today. Um, and that's the best chart out there. Let's look at this dollar yen. It hasn't really done much since, um, you know, we talked about being long yesterday. That was that was fine. Um, we got, we took out our own position at 42. And then we were fucking around. Um, Long dollar Swiss, uh, sold those at 88. We're just going to try and rebuild this position today. Uh, support is at 05 in um, dollar yen. And it is at 60, excuse me, in dollar Swiss. The positioning in dollar Swiss has lightened up a little bit as it tends to. Um, all these people who are trapped in longs got paid out of them. Uh, you know, in a classic retail fashion, they wore 200 pips uh, downside, and then when it went to break even, they scratched it. Um, but it's still pretty long, so we got to be careful. Um, but with rates now uh, up at 360, dollars should uh, continue to consolidate higher. Gold took a digger down to 1980. That was Ronnie Reagan's year. I was, of course, 10 years old. I didn't know who the fuck Ronald Reagan was. Uh, some weirdo from California. Um, 1980 now is twice, so... There could possibly be some renewed longs built here. Um, we're still not ready to get long gold. Uh, we feel like this is going to have to take a visit down to 1950 to really clear things out, and so... This might even be a break trade. Not really today. You need something that's going to move rates. And the calendar today is is uh, very light. Uh, in the dollar, it's very light. We got German Zoo, we got UK unemployment, and we got CAD CPI. So CAD CAD is interesting, but gold can go further. Uh, be careful with that, in our opinion. Let's see. Let's go to the CAD crosses. Where is dollar CAD? Where's Euro CAD? Oh, there's dollar CAD. Um, we only pull up Euro CAD in case there's a systematic signal here. I don't think there's going to be. Um, you want to pick this thing up. Whoops. Trade that on the dailies. It's slightly different chart, right? <laughs> Stupid dumbass. Um, nothing really on this chart that's, that's anything useful. Dollar CAD, let's see what we are here. Again, not super useful. I guess if CPI comes in super low, uh, they're accepting accepting median CPI year on year. They're expecting 4.9. Uh, if that comes in super low, CAD can pop. Um, let's quickly look at CAD again just in case there's a chart worth noting CAD yen typically often follows patterns for Aussie yen and you can see it's just kind of like 
the Aussie end chart, except with like a, a broken arm or a brick through the temple. 10086 um, is that sort of float above line. It's too far um, and it's not clean enough. So looks like we're just going to stick with what we're going to stick with, right? Uh, long Aussie yen today. Um, you know, we'll try and harvest 30 to 70 ticks on that. Oh, yeah, Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss popped down to 98.05 at the fix yesterday. This is now um, kind of the third time, right? Um, I'm not saying somebody's at 98 centimes, but I'm saying 98 centimes. One double O is what these boys want this to do. They they're in one of these. I want to kill volatility modes in Euro Swiss, and this is typically the operations of what they do after um, Swiss volatile Swiss news. So, you know, for the first time maybe ever, not for the first time ever, but for the first time in many many years, including us, we were like, oh, the Swiss franc's going to suffer. Uh, this great bank, you know, turned into sawdust. Um, and voila, someone was sitting there at one double O and someone's sitting there at 98 on teams. Um, if you do have any friends who have like 90 billion to play around with, and you can just be like, you could just be playing around with boons, right? You have a boon position. You buy some fucking boons when Euro Swiss is 98, you sell some boons <laughs> when, um, when we're at one, that's effectively a Euro Swiss position if you happen to uh, be headquartered in, in Zurich and spend some time in Basel. Um, anyway, keep an eye on that. Uh, we still like dollar Swiss higher, but Euro Swiss, again, uh, maybe serendipitously, maybe not, uh, was supported at 98 centimes. All right, I'm babbling a little bit. Let's quick. Uh, let's quickly look at the equities. Nothing really to do here. And equities are just like running to stand still. VIX is like on the 17 handle. Uh, this is, looks like it's going to visit 4210. Uh, everyone's bearish. I don't know what to be. It's just there's just no trade here for now. Uh, I'm happy to sell this thing. Uh, join the bears if we get up to. Um, 4260, 4280 seems unlikely, right? So I don't think there's any chance in hell we're going to go 100 points higher today. The recent highs um, are 4330 as well. So looks like it's grind higher. Everyone wants it lower. She's not going lower. We've seen this movie a billion times. Um, so don't get stuck in your head uh, on a one-way street here. And effectively, I would argue, if you're trading S&Ps right now, you're trading the wrong instrument, right? There's so many other things that are moving around with with delight. Um, S&Ps are just caught in the mud, running to stand still, you know. Anyway, oh wait, crude. This little um, stubborn... In the 79.50 area is now like slowly coming back into play. As everyone who listens to this uh, little rant every morning knows, we're not great at trading crude. But this will be the third test of 79, whatever you call this low and this gap from the OPEC cuts. This is uh, probably worth a break trade uh, with very tight parameters, right? So 79.30 or wherever you want your entry. You know, you got some time to think about it, and you can you can really go into the minutia as you get closer. You know, you're working on your hourly charts, and you're saying, "Where is this? What is this? Who is this?" Um, anyway, but it's worth it's worth checking out. This will be the canary in the coal mine, I think, for a big risk off day. So if we can get back through 79.30, even if you don't trade it, just leave a little note. Um, in your frontal lobe, uh, that's going to be risk off, uh, recession warnings, yada, yada, yada. All right, guys, uh, I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.